Hi, welcome to this video. I'm Matt. I'm one of the co-founders of System3 and Relay. And this video is going to be a video tour of the Relay product. So if you're not familiar with Relay, Relay is a plugin for Obsidian that makes Obsidian multiplayer. It lets you share folders within your vault with other Obsidian users, and it uses CRDTs to give you conflict-free collaborative editing, uh, both in real time with live cursors, and you can see one another type, and offline asynchronously. And when you come back online, those edits will be merged seamlessly without data loss. So why Relay? Obsidian is a tool for thinking, and thinking is a team sport. A lot of the thinking that we do, we do together. So Relay lets you think together in Obsidian. It's pretty dope. You should try it. So let's start the tour. First stop, we're going to download Relay by System 3. So we go to Settings. We go to Community Plugins. Turn on Community Plugins if you haven't already, then go to Browse, and then we'll search Relay. We're Relay by System 3, so get that one. Click install, click enable. So then you're at the home screen of Relay and you're going to have to log in. The reason you need to log in is because your vault is going to make a connection with the Relay server. So you need an account to manage that connection. So hit login with Google. It'll open your browser and you can pick your Google account that you want to log in with. So now I'm logged in. Okay, so download success. Next stop, we're going to create a new Relay. So let's set up the scenario. So the scenario is me and Dan and Roger. We're starting a new company. We're going to call it Sockco and we want to have a shared workspace and we all use obsidian so we're going to use relay to give us a team workspace so let's create a relay so we go to settings down to relay this is the home screen of relay when you're logged in these lists will be empty for you when you first start but here's where you would join a relay if somebody else gives you a share key put it in there here's a list of your relays whether you're an owner or a member and then here are the shared folders that are connected to any relays so we want to create a new relay so we're going to hit new relay let's give it a name We'll call it Sock Co. And that's basically it for creating a relay. So close that out. So third stop, let's add a folder. So the idea is create your relay. You add any folders from your vault that you want to the relay. You add any people that you want to the relay. And then all the content of those folders will get relayed out to all the people that are on the relay. So let's add a folder. So we go to settings. Here's our Sock Co. relay. Click the manage button. And here's the shared folders that are on this relay. Currently none. So we hit the add button. These are a list of all the folders in my vault. I've already got a folder for SockCo, and it's got subfolders. Those will get added automatically. So I'm going to add the SockCo folder to this relay. And there it is. Now it's added. So I'll close this out, and we can see over here in projects, get that out of the way, there's SockCo. That's the folder. And this is new. These two icons here. This icon over here, the little satellite, indicates that it's connected to a relay. And it'll tell you even which relay it's connected to. It's the relay called SockCo. And this stack icon tells you that any change that you make to that folder will be tracked in CRDT format so that it can be relayed up and then echoed out, relayed out to all of your other users. So that's it for stop three. We've added a folder to a relay. Let's go into stop four, which is inviting someone else to a relay. So to do that, go back into settings, go to the relay, SockCo. And then we go down and we grab this share key. And we just click it. That'll copy it to your clipboard. And then all you do is you go and share this with whoever you want to be on the relay. So I'm going to go get on Messenger or whatever and send this to Dan and to Roger. Great. So invitation complete. Now I'm just waiting for them to, to join the relay. Okay. So I messaged Roger and Dan. It's a little while later. And Roger has joined the relay. So to see that, I can go to settings, back down to relay. For the SockCo relay, click manage. And then here's the list of users. It's me. And there's Roger. Cool. So let's see what Roger's been up to. So over here in the sock co folder open it up roger's been doing some sock research he says so we'll check it out okay he's added a couple new notes i see like he's got roger's grandma's knit socks let's open that up notice that it took a moment there for that text to come in and that's because it doesn't sync the content of the notes in the background that only happens when you actually open the note so during that second or two there it was receiving roger's updates from the server so here's what roger says my grandma makes the best socks beautiful warm they smell like grandma He's going to make us a pair. That's great. Over here, we can see that that note is connected. We could disconnect it, reconnect it. Let's see. Roger also says, darn tough socks. These are new. See it loading? There's darn tough socks. And I can be like, I've tried these. Great. And look, there's Roger's cursor. He's in the note, and he's going to say some stuff. That's super cool, Matt. Thanks, Roger. Okay, so now Dan has accepted the invite as well. So there's Dan in the user list. And Dan's doing some work on the origin story. There it is.
Okay, so that's collaborating. Next stop, upgrading to team. So you've got your relays. I've got Sockco. The free version allows for three seats. So that's fine for me and Dan and Roger, but if I want to add more people, I can upgrade to the team plan for 10 bucks a month and I get 10 seats. So just hit that upgrade there. All right, there's upgrading to teams. And then last up, let me tell you about the current limitation. So there's two things I want to tell you about. One is no background sync. You already saw that. So it will only pull the content of a note when you actually open that note. It will sync file names, but for the content of those files, those notes, you have to open the note to sync that. So that's one limitation. Other limitation is the only type of file that syncs right now with Relay is .md text files. So if you have images, PDFs, that kind of thing, uh, won't sync yet. Okay, that's it for current limitations. That completes our tour. Thanks for watching. We really hope you enjoy it. Uh, join our Discord, discord.system3.md. We'd love to hear from you. There's a whole new paradigm to figure out for how to use Obsidian with intersecting vaults. We'd love to have you join. All right, have fun collaborating. Go forth.